Good morning, Realtor. From WCAT TV studio, I'm Alex Zignani, alongside Joanna Ferry, and these are your morning announcements. Any senior planning to major in education is eligible to apply for the Great Latrobe Education Association $1,000 scholarship. Please see Mrs. Cubis in room H108 as soon as possible to pick up your application. All forms are due by the end of the day, Friday, May 3rd. All students and teachers are invited to come to the CSC to view the Senior High Art Show, which will be on display this week. There is an evening reception from 6 to 8 p.m. tonight. All are welcome. Stop by the Commons area and purchase a bracelet to support St. Jude's Children's Hospital. They will be on sale this week and are only $1. Attention all sophomores and juniors. It is time to elect class officers for the 2019-2020 school year. If you are interested in running for class president, vice president, secretary, or treasurer, Please pick up a class officer's candidate form and a requirements and duty sheet in the 1112 office in the student waiting area. You can also pick up a form for Ms. Theodore in C210. All forms are due to Ms. Theodore by the end of the day on Tuesday, May 21st. Being elected will allow you to help plan Breakfast with Santa, the winter dance, prom, and graduation, as well as keeping the student body unified. Help make a difference next school year. Now here's Devin Watson with the weather report. Tomorrow, Wildcats, it's time for your local weather report. Today, expect rainfall throughout the day with an afternoon thunderstorm along with a high of 77 and a low of 62. Tomorrow, expect more rainfall with some thunderstorms throughout the day along with a high of 76 and a low of 55. And on Saturday, the storms will have moved on, but the rain will not, as we'll have mostly cloudy skies with periods of rainfall throughout the day along with a high of 68 and a low of 52. That's all for your weather report. Thanks to back to you. Thanks, Devin. All Avita members planning to attend the May 6 Avita event are planning to attend the final planning session in C112 during Lunch and Learn 2 on Friday, May 3rd. Field trip paperwork is due at this time. New freshmen and sophomore members are highly encouraged to attend. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Ryder. Attention all students who have overdue books from the library. Please be sure to return or renew all overdue materials as soon as possible. Students who do not return an overdue book for one month or more must pay the cost for the book. There are currently a large number of overdue materials. On May 6, a representative from WCCC will be here to assist any seniors who plan on attending in the fall. The representative will walk you through the application process and will waive your application fee. Please sign up in the 1112 office to set up an appointment. Attention rising juniors and seniors interested in a career in the medical field. Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine is hosting their LACOM Emerging Scholars Academy from June 17th to June 21st at Seton Hill University. This program aims to familiarize high school juniors and seniors with healthcare career opportunities. Students can pick up an application from Mr. Princeton in the 1112 office. Applications must be submitted by Friday, May 3rd. We go now to Connor Mondock for the sports report. Thanks, Diana, and welcome to the Wildcats Sports Report. The baseball team has an away section matchup against Penn Trafford at 4, and the boys lacrosse team has the Cane and Mac for their game at 7.30. That's all for sports. Back to you guys. Thanks, Connor. Miss Rebel is looking for students to take on a teen advisor role in the makerspace, hoping to plan activities and get other students involved in the space. Students who are interested in serving on the makerspace advisory board will have input and leadership with the activities which may involve using the laser machine, 3D printer, little bits, or other electronic circuits, coding, crafts, and more. Training will occur at the end of the year or beginning of next year. See Ms. Rebel in person or send her an email if you're interested. This will look great on a resume or job application. Stop by the cafeteria and take a wild guess of how many beads are in the graduation jar. The three closest guesses win Wildcat Cafe cash. Good for any a la carte item. 
The Interact Club is looking for cheerleaders interested in playing basketball and boys interested in being cheerleaders for the Playing for Paws reverse roll basketball game on Friday, May 17th. This is a fun annual event where the cheerleaders become the basketball players and any guys who are interested can become a cheerleader. Sign-ups will be in the Commons during Lunch and Learn this Thursday and Friday for anyone interested. With the upcoming SAT, Keystone, and AP testing, Avidum reminds you to stress less. Take a pencil and remember that we've got your back. Now here's Preston Yingling with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latrobe? It's Thursday, May 2nd, and the main line is cooking up four chicken tenders, half a cup of cheesy potatoes, a soft pretzel, and half a cup of broccoli florets. Over on the cultural corner, we got General Tso's chicken with fried rice and more broccoli florets. Finally, the soup of the day is Fiesta Taco. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you guys. Thanks, Preston. All seniors are asked to check their email and complete the High Post Senior Survey. There will be a SAD Club meeting on Monday, May 6th during Lunch and Learn 1 in C-107 to assemble materials for the pre-prom activities. There will be a meeting for any boy or girl interested in trying out for the golf team next year on Wednesday, May 9th. The meeting will be immediately following school in room S-207 in the Senior High. The meeting will last about 15 minutes. Information pertaining to tryouts in the fall golf season will be discussed. If you cannot make the meeting and wish to try out, you must see Mr. Rhea in S207. We now head out to the Wildcat baseball field where senior shortstop Isaac Eckerd is working hard to excel both on and off the field. Here's Ryan Young with the today's student spotlight. Now batting, three-year letterman and two-time second-team all-section infielder, Isaac Eckerd. Baseball is a thinking man's game, except a lot of players don't think. Oh, I got it. Baseball has taught me how to speak clearly and present myself in a professional manner. I'm a team player because baseball is a team sport, although the individual spotlight is always on you with every at-bat that you have and every play that you make, but overall one person can't win it for the team. The Latrobe coaching staff has been great. They definitely look for the best guys and the best team players instead of just who you are or what grade you are in of if you're going to play. And they have been a family to me, and if I have any questions or need help, I know I can always trust them. Eckerd credits his success on and off the field to his loving family, faith in Christ, and loyal friends who have encouraged and continue to lead him. Keep an eye out for future Penn State Baron shortstop, Isaac Eckerd. Reporting for WCAT-TV, this has been Gianna Ferry and Alex Pizzignani. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.